Hey, welcome on in, Furioso Gaming. My name is Furioso. Today I'd like to teach you how to begin in Kenshi. Um, it is not an easy game, by any means. It's challenging. And the start, especially, has made a lot of people run away from the game. So I'd like to give just a real quick tutorial on just maybe a couple viable options to making money in the game so that you can start your own base. I'm going to do this quickly and I will explain every step of the way and try to keep this video around 20 minutes as it's kind of my debut video and I I hope you enjoy it so here we go here we go first thing I'm gonna do is I spawn typically here in the hub on the map I think that's where everybody's spawning these days unless you choose otherwise I don't, I don't know if that's an option or not but you spawn there in the hub and once you're there and once you are loaded in and everything, you'll notice that this town is pretty burnt out and not much is going on. You can hold the alt button to kind of look at what's on the floor around you, see if there's anything worth selling. There is not, and typically is not here. So my recommendation for all new players is to check out the bar real quick. By the way, I ran this on Wanderer. There are several start options. This is the Wanderer start. And... Wander puts you in the game with about a thousand cats, which is the currency in the game, and really nothing else. Like, you've got a club and a loincloth, and that's about it. And, uh, I will show you how to make that work and turn that into an empire of your own. So, what I'm doing here is I'm talking to the first guy in this bar who wanted to talk to me. His name is typically Hobbs. And he is a very fair new partner. He's an eccentric, but he's funny. And it gets very powerful if you work him out right. And Hobbs would like to join me. So we're doing that. I'm going to have Hobbs follow my guy by right-clicking there. I believe that works. Yep. And we'll go to, I'm going to go to the map here and right-click on this town here. Directly to the south and west of where you are now. And that town should be called Squin. Yep, it is. And Squin is the home of the Shek. This is what you would do on this playthrough, on a Wanderer playthrough. Um, any other particular playthrough uh, I can do, and I may do, I may turn this into a series, I kind of want to, but for the Wanderer, I'm going to show you how to go to Squin and make Squin work for you. Because I'm going to do something someone, a lot of people probably think is a little exploitative, but not really. Because if you were being chased by outlaws in the, in the real world, you probably would want to run to a police station. So what I'm going to be doing is training uh, outlaws, bandits, to the police station where they, to a, or a guard post where they will be beat down and I get to loot to my heart's content. And I will do that a couple of times and you'll see how much money that generates you, especially if they are dust bandits, because their sabers and their armor sell fair, fairly well. And that's just one of the ways I'm going to teach you today. So let's get on over there. I've got the fast speed on if you're wondering why everything's working so quick. If you don't know anything about Kenshi, it is very, very wide open vistas. Like there are many biomes, there are there is a massive world to explore and we are coming upon Squin now this is one of the homes of the Shek Kingdom oh, I threw my camera around a little bit there and we are paused because we are loading as you approach a town typically your game does pause because there is a lot to load a lot of buildings, a lot of people you can slow that down now as we're getting closer Really, all our people will be doing in the beginning is acting as bait. So I am going to send Hobbs. You saw me click him and right-click over there at the other entrance to Squin. And so Hobbs fell behind a little bit because I think I'm faster. Yeah, here he comes, though. Trooper Hobbs, I believed in you the whole time. So we're going to take Furioso. We're going to go back the way we came. Basically, we're putting two lines in the water. We want to attract... I'm going to put this on a little faster, just so we get this done in 20 minutes. It's a little 
if nothing spawns for me, I'll have to reclip this, but or re-record this, but it should happen for us. This game's pretty. You can usually tell what's going to happen, or certain things never change. I should say that's a better way of putting it, because it's not predictable, so to speak. But you can, you can be assured that there will be bandits at some point, somewhere near you. And they are usually, yes, what is this? Those look like slavers. Slave mongers. Alright, right now slavers are our friends. I, I'm, I don't love them. I don't tend to ally with them. But in the beginning like this, you are weak souse. And you probably don't want to go picking a fight with them as they will ruin your day. So I'm just searching around up here. Good time right now to pop over to Hobbs. And just quick loading screen there. And then while Hobbs moves around over here, Furioso is still moving around over there with two lines in the water. This man wants to do a bag check on me and I always let him. Unless I have contraband. But I don't usually run that game. You can play the contraband game and run like smuggle goods to places, but I don't feel very strongly that the monetary gain is worth my time. The luring of bandits into guard posts seems to be the best way of getting this done. I'm a little surprised how long this is taking. Typically this happens a lot sooner, but it's okay. We're going to get there. We'll find them. You cannot hide from us. <laughs> Beautiful game, though. And a lot has been developed. It's still technically in development. Um, but I do believe it has come out of early access. It was in there for, shoot, years, years, as many games are. But the development was always kind of on track with this one, and you knew what was coming out. They were clear about what was happening. And with a little patience, we as the players were rewarded. Like, we, we were shown, we've been shown many new versions of this world at this point. In the beginning, it was just like an open desert. Like look like peanut butter spread, as far as the eye could see. And now it has been fleshed out into something far different. There's many different biomes, like I said. There's there's a, a jungle biome. There's a, like a... Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like there's acid rain falling from the sky and everything looks all dingy and dark. Like maybe like an atom bomb went off there or something. Which may not be far off, because as you play this game, you'll realize a cat cataclysm has affected this world in one way or another. And I don't know, at least I have not found it, uh, what exactly that was, but it's, you know, a search. Maybe they're still working on that at Lo-Fi Games. The creators of this game are Lo-Fi Games, by the way. And you can check out their website if you want to download from there, or they have a Steam. They have their game on Steam, I should say. And either way is a very viable way to get the game and whether they're still working on the lore I don't know but something for sure has happened to this world that was world like an extinction level event type thing it wasn't wholesale because we're still here but it was bad what is this what do we got here oh something's fighting something Hungry bandits. Hungry bandits, and this is how that works. I think they accidentally... Yeah, it's the guard. So what I'll do is I'll slow this down. Since Hobbs, Hobbs is over here in the action. I'm going to pop him over to that front gate so that more guards can get involved. Um, just because I'm pretty sure Hobbs didn't even start with a weapon. Yeah, he did. So he's... Not in the best of ways. Uh, 
There we go. And as you can see, the guards make very short work of these. These fools, for now, give them a little clubby club. And uh, snag some of their, you know, ratty cloths and pants and sell those off. What you mean? Oh, well, you can't steal from bandits, my friend. It's not really a problem. Um, so what we're doing is we're gathering up loot from these guys that have gone down. Now, this will be all I do as I'm running out of time already. I'm at about 10 minutes for you all. But the process here will be the same. It will be the same. And with any other bandit group, a uh, group of outlaws, uh, bone dogs, anything you want, really, you can drag to the guards, and typically the guards will fight them, unless it's a neutral faction to them and they don't have um, a negative rating with them. You can check that by going to your map and checking factions. Uh, if you click on Check Kingdom, it'll tell you... It should tell you somewhere in this screen where how they feel about other factions. And if it doesn't, that's coming. I haven't looked too far into that, but realistically, any bandit group, the Shek are going to absolutely love to attack. So, okay, so we've already got his um, inventory full. Now he's going to stroll gleefully back into Squin, and uh, ideally... Yeah, we can just go. We can just go in here, I think, and sell all this stuff off. It won't make a lot of money because those were hungry bandits, and their gear is kind of kind of garbage. But um, I'm showing you the process. Is this, it's going to be the same for dust bandits, which is what, kind of where you make your money early on. You find those groups of dust bandits. They might be a little bit more north is where they're primarily at, because that's where the dust king is, north and to the east, but. They're here. I've done it a thousand times. They are here. These are just the first ones I ran into. So I'll sell these off. What am I getting a piece? A piece I'm getting about 50 cats. Not the worst. Not the best. Um, and as you can see, I have already... Where are my cats? Okay, I've already made about 200 cats, which, once again, not a lot. Not a very little either. Like It's worth our time. It's worth our time to do this. Now the other thing, I will do it very fast for you guys. Because um, I do want to highlight the two primary ways to... How many workers can you take? Yeah. I want to showcase the two primary ways that people are making money in this game. Now you'll want to do this with the backpack, but because I have a constraint on time, because um, I'm a noob and I don't feel like clipping anything, uh, what you're going to end up doing is probably doing the bandit thing a couple times and then buying a backpack for each one of your characters or your character, whichever one you've got, however many characters you have at this point. And what you're going to start doing is mining, like a copper node next to Squin or any other town. Most towns have copper by them in one form or another. Uh, where is Shurio? So you can kind of look around. You'll see, you'll see a name running in. My overlay might be blocking that. Here he comes, Furio. So that's my boy. He's coming in, running his way to Hobbs here, and I will speed this up so that we are not waiting. Make sure he's doing the things here. Ooh, Furio is under attack by something. What do we got? More hungry bandits. Well, why not? We shall run them very quickly back to base since they wanna since they wanna dance. I mean, you guys said you wanted to dance, so do that. All right, let's go. So yeah, we're gonna take them. Come on, come on. You wanted this. You can lose them, and in fast mode, it's kind of like. Hard to figure out what's happening, but oof. 
Yeah, even hungry bandits in the in the beginning are going to wreck your people. So I recommend running the hell away. But now that I've whacked them a couple times, they should be more interested in hurting me. So they're going to follow. Speed that up a little bit. And here they come to the rescue. Those brave Shekian warriors. The reality is they, they relish combat, and I'm doing them a favor by giving them something to do. So, all right. We have achieved good things. They, okay, sometimes they take them, and that's okay. Uh, they're not going to take all of them, especially if you bring a whole group in, like I'm about to. And then you can just loot what they don't. Loot what they don't. Hi. That's them. I think their leader has a saber, which I would very much like to apply to one of my characters. Is they're better, like they're more effective. Well, let me reiterate, it's not so much that it's better as it's more defensive and a a weapon that you can really stand behind in the beginning <clears throat> because of its defensive efficacy. Oh, just wrecking fools over here. Alright, so there is the guy with the saber. I'm putting that on Hobbs as he does not have anything. Furiosa doesn't even have a shirt on. So, who wants to help him with that? There we go. Gave him some a rag shirt. Because why not, right? And then we're going to just freeform loot and sell. Oh, he didn't sell. Yeah, he didn't sell. Or he did. And whatever. Um, so we'll go back in here real quick like Beom. we are rushing rushing we are at the four minute mark hopefully I get to the mining so we'll say let's do business we're gonna sell all of that noise except for one how much of those backpacks 1500 that seems like a lot, but it's not. Especially if uh, dust bandits appear, then we'll make several thousand in a short period of time. This is just in the meantime so that we can have food in our bellies. Because yes, you feed your people. You do feed your people in this game. Okay, he didn't have anything. That's fine. We are going to go. It is night. Night time in the game. It's kind of unfortunate. Hopefully you all are seeing that okay. I barely am. <laughs> So, just tell my boys to run back to that copper node and get on it. You'll see them whacking away with their pickaxes while it's standing next to the node, and they'll get a copper to pop out. Now this, while a little tedious, is made better by the speed up button. Um, and we're just going to take a couple of them for now. And I'll show you that they sell quite well. It's a very fair amount in the scheme of things. And w normally you'd fill a backpack with them, so you'll have several, several to sell. Show them your gear. Yeah, I don't have nothing but some copper. Oh, okay, so what's happening is that most of the stores are closed. I'll tell you what is not, and that is the bar. The bar stays open, I want to say, 24-hour gig, so I'll trade it to him. And they want to give me uh, 175 cats per. So imagine if your backpack and your inventory and everything is filled with those. You're making decent cash. And by the time you've done that a couple times and trained a couple bandit groups in, um... Me and the Sheck, you know, just chilling, hanging out. Once you've trained a couple bandit groups in, especially the dust bandits, and done some mining, you'll have several thousand to buy yourself some building materials, some iron, whatever else you may need to build a new base, um, start your own faction properly anyway. Uh, it's not such a bad idea when you have your team bringing in these bandits to get in on the action a little bit, especially as you start to gear up yourselves a little bit, start wearing a little bit of what dust bandits wear, 
not such a bad idea to get into the fight. If you, one of your guys goes down, don't worry about it. Grab him, throw him in the inn. You can heal your bandits. Uh, you can heal your men, your people in a bed at the at the inn here, and I think it's just a hundred cats. So this is a viable starting location. You do those two things, you'll be seeing some success before you know it. All right, guys, this has been Furioso Gaming. I am Furioso. If you enjoyed this, please uh, click the link down below and follow me on my Twitch. Uh, Give me a like and uh, let me know what you thought. If you'd like to see me play anything specific, uh, I'm willing and open to do that. This is an indie channel and mainstream channel, so I'm willing to play just about whatever. Just here for both of our gaming pleasures. So let me know and hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.